Hello everyone! In this video, we will discuss 4 ways in which you can do backup and restore from backup in Onki. Let's focus on automatic backups first. Automatic backup is the first thing you should be thinking about when your collection gets messed up. So let's say I messed up my collection. To use automatic backup, you need to go to the profile window. Please notice that when you click File, Switch Profile, the errors will propagate to Onki Web. It's because Onki syncs automatically every time you open and close collection, plus every time you press the sync button. So that's why Onki Web should not be treated as a backup. So anyway, once you are on the profile window, click open backup. And by the way, please keep only one profile, I keep two dummy profiles for making Onki videos. So anyway, when you click open backup, a window appears, and yes, we want to use backups. Notice at this point, Onki will stop automatic syncing, and now you can go back and forth between any of the backups, and when you are satisfied, simply close Onki, and it will resume normal behavior and automatic syncing. You can change the number of backups under Preferences, Backups. It used to be 30, but it seems 50 is the default now. When does Onki do automatic backups? Each time your collection is closed, that is, when you're closing Onki, switching profiles, or synchronizing your decks. Notice automatic backups do not include media, and of course they don't protect you when your hardware gets damaged, or fails, or is stolen. That's one of the reasons why you need to do manual backups as well. So let's move on to manual backups. There are three types. Let's start with the standard backup of the entire collection. Let's go to File, Export, make sure Include Media is ticked and that you are exporting as collection package. The only thing I would like to add is that it's good to export the entire collection in a file like this when you make a big version upgrade. So I will delete a deck. In that way, you will be able to see the difference on importing the backup collection. To use the .colpkg file, you can use the import button or you can just double click on it. Please notice it will overwrite your existing collection. The second way to backup manually is to copy the entire Onki data folder. The manual explains where the folder location is in each of the three operating systems. And by the way, I will post the link to this below the video. I am on Windows, so let's use this line. Please notice that the folder app data is hidden, and that's why the percentage sign, I suppose. I can see my hidden folders, but that depends on your system settings. So let's look what we have in the Onki data folder. We have one folder for each profile, folder with dictionaries, that's only if you are using spelling police add-on, folder with add-ons, and files with preferences. The only thing I'd like to add is that you can copy the Onki data folder as a backup, but it's also very convenient if you have to use someone else's computer for a while. I don't know, maybe your laptop needs servicing, whatever. So you just copy the entire thing and you have the exact add-ons and settings. Of course, you could use mobile during that time, but we know that Onki add-ons in general don't work on mobile. At least that is currently true, maybe in the future some tools will exist that would make developing cross-platform add-ons much easier. I don't know, I am not a software developer, uh, but at the moment the fact is that add-ons work on desktop. The last way to backup manually is by using the cog icon next to the deck name. This allows you to export the entire collection if all decks are under a single parent, moreover, being able to selectively export individual decks is essential in case of data conflict. So let's do some examples. First, let's export all decks. So let's put all decks underneath one parent and export it. By the way, please make sure that media and scheduling is ticked on. Now if I delete this collection, you can see I can import it back. In my opinion, this is a bit awkward way of doing a full backup, but as I said, being able to selectively export decks is indispensable when resolving merging conflicts. Merging conflicts occur when you have different data, say on desktop and on Onki Web. Most people, if they do come across merging conflict, it will be when they first connect desktop to Onki account. I will attach a link to Onki manual that explains what to do in such situations, but basically it's based on exporting individual decks, overwriting and re-importing back the saved decks. So that's all I have for you today, I hope it helps, thank you for watching, bye!